Welcome back to some more Soccer Spirits gameplay. This is Galatea. Uh, today is more of a revamp from my last video. Uh, the audio didn't work. Wait, no, the audio worked. I just didn't have it uh, low enough to hear my voice, or I didn't speak high, uh, high enough, so I apologize for that. But the good news is, is that that video I had made was really pretty much the first day the update came out, and uh, all I had to go by was from uh, the notes that they had put, which I looked at pretty well for the most part, but uh, now I have a, I know a little bit more about what's going on, and uh, we'll get back to this update, and I'll get everything squared away. Uh, the only thing to really look at from that prior really long video would be around the 940 minute mark, and I, I do all my crystal pulls pretty much there, if y'all want to see it, if y'all haven't seen it. Uh, it's a long video, so I understand y'all not wanting to watch all of that. Some may have, no, probably not at all. I wouldn't think anyone would watch that. But anyways, back onto this video. Uh, <clears throat> As y'all pretty much well know by now, most likely. Oh, okay. Grab that real quick. Let me grab these real quick. It's mostly just popped up. Alright. As y'all pretty much well know now, uh, there's a whole bunch of, uh, not a whole bunch, but there's plenty of new cards that are out. Um, yeah, you got the new chick. Where is she at? She's not down there. Well, yeah, well, they are, there's the, uh, Royna, who's getting, who's an attacker. I haven't really looked at her too much, but, yeah, here she is. There's Leah. She's, uh, very strong, very powerful. She's a long passer, but she has a buttload of assists that are great for Ardor. Or, not assists, I mean, a buttload of passives. Um, she's very, very strong, like I was saying, guys. Uh, she has great totem skills that affect the entire team, as most people that may have decided to go Ardor now have realized that Ardor has a lot of team passives, which is pretty neat. But, uh, yeah, she's the main thing, really, for Ardor. Whirlwind, uh, they got their Kiki 7-star. Sorry, I'm in a different area right now, but so my screen's not as bright. But yeah, there's a uh, Saramir. She is a. Uh, I think she's the first one. Where is it? Yeah, I think she's the first uh, whirlwind dark ace. So a lot of people will be grabbing her or trying to grab her. She's also an assist player. I can't remember all of her skills, so we'll look at her real quick. It's. Uh, oh yeah, so long pass is also getting a. Uh, it costs less than it's one and a half bars and. It's getting a boost in spirit gain for the whirlwind players, so you're gonna be throwing those long passes in, but pretty much not losing really any spirit. That's the, the cool thing about the whirlwind users. Um. Oh, that's right. She had uh, the decreased critical rate and reflexes within the position is really good, but this one right here, decreased enemies' uh, action speed within the position when attacked is great. Um. Like I said, uh, she she's very strong as well. All the new players they're starting to come out with, which may eventually get 7-star transformations as well, they are be pretty strong. Uh, also, I think, actually, Saramir is the first long passer to uh, be a 5-star base card. I think we've only had 4-stars. I didn't even think about that. So that's cool. Uh, Thunder got this person right here, Lukia. Uh, she's actually... A blessing and I don't know how many Thunder users may be out there watching this, but she's kind of a blessing in disguise for Thunder with her Ace effect, and uh, which is uh, increased action speed and critical rate of Thunder players by 20% when maxed out. That's a blessing in disguise for Thunder players. We need more action speed. It allows a little bit more in-depth uh, situational use of other cards that we weren't able to put or move around in other areas. Uh, you may get to see this later on. I might show it. I don't know. Uh, I'm thinking this squad will work pretty well, but um, yeah, she's she's a blessing in disguise. She's got some really OP uh, passives. Very, very uh, much just based on her. She uh, decreases inflicted damage by 50% for each defense within with the penetration, so if you put her in the center mid spot, um, maybe she'll 
Maybe there'll be two people, so she'll get take a 100% less damage. Or maybe if they have a five-man back line and she attacks the keeper with plus the two players, that's 150% less, which is great. That's awesome. She has a magnetic field, which increases action speed and critical rate by 25% for her. And she also has a skill that increases attack power by six for every three action speed. So if you stack a lot of speed with her, she's going to be very fast and very strong. Which, uh, which will be great when you get her fully superb. She can hold down midfield lines a lot easier. And it allows me personally to uh, switch out my squad a little. <clears throat> yeah, I went a little bit in more depth with her. We also get a... Oh, it's not over there. I'll get to it in a sec. But, uh, let's see. Yeah, Leia got her 7-star. She's pretty much just a beast now. And uh, her strategy active skill is very essential in Colosseum now. Since Colosseum, the update, has made it much more difficult. They have... The enemies have lots of action speed and lots of reflex. They also have given them pretty much... Actually, it's pretty much increased all the stats because... There's some people, they have like ridiculous attack power, dribble and steal, ridiculous reflex, di ridiculous speed, it's ridiculous. But yeah, uh, you really would like some kind of player that has, that decreases team's reflex, she's going to get it by 30% I think, and uh, this will help keep players alive and allow you to break through enemy lines and of the sorts as well. She has some good path. Yeah, she increases her own max HP by, I think it's 35, maybe 40%. I'm not sure. I don't have a Leia. I never have had a Leia. You can't, I can't really see what it, I think someone said no. Yeah, I can't really see uh, it. I'd have to go to like an evolution screen and I'll show it there, but she also increases attack power by blank percent for every 20 max HP, so that can be, if you stack HP with her, she can be very strong and, you know, high sustain, which is great. Uh, increase attack power by blank percent and reflex with an attack. So basically, this skill, it just increases her attack power and reflex by even more. But that's not all. It's also like uh, the skill Rage, where you recover HP by, I want to say, 30% first. So she attacks, gets 30% of her max HP back, and blasts away the competition. So... Really, the only way to battle this person is to just beat the living crap out of her before she's able to attack and make sure to keep her HP low and watch over that, which is really hard to do in an AI match. But that's okay. But she's, yeah, she's a great addition to the light crew. I think, yeah, light should have one. Oh, yeah, light got a cilia. Um, and this person, uh, Chitose. I really don't know much about Chitose. For every defense. Oh, okay, so yes, she's yes, she's a defender, and she increases attack and defense. So she stacks attack and defense and gets more action bar and spirit when max superb. And I think this is the one that everyone says it's like a mini version of Beatrice. Pretty much true, but she can be a good defender. Um, I don't know how I would place her in a light team. For sure, uh, there's so many good light players already, and there's so many seven-star evolutions out there that, really, right now, I don't know if she, like I was saying, I don't know if she really has a place in a, in a squad. Except if you wanted to go uh, light and whirlwind, which is cool, and she, you can use her A skill and get action speed for both players. But it's only a single uh, ace effect. So I don't know how all that's going down right now, but she may get a, a buff ace-wise if she gets a 7-star. Maybe she'll get a 7-star in the future, but she she looks all right. She's decent. She is decent. It's just there's so many good light players out there already that it's going to make it hard to compete. Um, Astilia is a keeper. Second keeper for uh, light. Uh, she has some decent passives, but I think what everyone was complaining about for Acilia is I don't know if it's worded wrong or whatnot, but supposedly I don't, I don't think anyone's really used her yet either but supposedly she decreases inflicted damage I'm not sure by how much but it only lasts in the first 12 minutes of the match so 
in? I mean, BA, I guess? Not really. Uh, she has some other decent skills like decrease inflicted damage, increase critical resistance when HP is above 50%, and she has something to recover HP back before getting attacked, and the shield skill, so maybe you can make her work. Um, maybe in combo it right, uh, but she has potential, but she only, of course, goes to six star right now, and really, you can only compete with seven star keepers, because they have the extra best, the extra better stats, and some passive upgrades that make them a little bit stronger than these six stars, which is, uh, one thing Ardor and Thunder are lacking as a seven star keeper. I'm kind of surprised that they haven't already come out with some seven star forms for really Lucian and Racklet. Pretty much those two. Um, on to Dark. They got a few seven star Evos. They got Metatron, who, uh, I can't remember what her first passive was right here, what the original name was, but becomes Mercy and Insanity. And not only does it decrease the max HP of enemies, but enemies in the position, but also the reflex. So Dark is starting to look more like a squad that constantly recovers HP, as well as decreasing reflex of the enemy team, because uh, she has the decreased reflex skill, and then you have Avnor. They also decrease uh, HP, of course, too, but we have Avnor and his uh, evil genius, which decreases action speed, pass effect, and now reflex within the position, so a lot of people will prob probably be using Avnor and Metatron a lot in Colosseum due to the very high reflex that the opponents, the enemy teams have. I think that's why you're seeing more, for now at least, uh, more Dark Aces in the Colosseum. I mean, that kind of makes sense in my head because they have that reflex, uh, natural reflex uh, deduction to the enemy squad. Plus, they just constantly recover HP now. So, really, all you gotta do is throw in some of those dark players. You don't even have to have a dark team, really. You don't even have to use their aces. But, uh, you throw in some of those dark players right there. You switch out. If you have multiple strikers, you, stri you uh, rotate your strikers now and uh, clear some of these higher floors that are harder to get through. But those are those two. Uh, where, let me see. I think they, yeah, they did get into card. They did, there's this guy. Let me look carefully, because I can't really see that well right now. Um, where, where, where? I'm pretty sure he's dark. He actually might be... Yeah, I might have actually skipped him. He might be Whirlwind. No, he should be dark. He might have been Whirlwind, actually. I might have I might have missed someone. It's popped up in my head. You know, I don't... Maybe he's not... I don't see him right now. I'm sorry. There was a dude, uh, I think he was an assist. I could have sworn he was dark. I'm just not seeing him. I've probably gone over him like three times or something. Oh, they didn't get that card. I'll show her real quick. Um, she's a dark ardor ace. I would probably never use her, honestly. I mean, she has crit rate and max HP, which is great. She's a four-star, though. And, uh, just for the fact that she's a, pretty much a four-star. I mean, she does have... And she has very basic meh passives, kind of, and, uh... Well, at least she has that. She decreases the enemy's team reflex. But, yeah, the only thing she's really got going for her is the, um, Dark Ardor. Ace, I really don't, I really personally wouldn't care for her at all. I mean, why would you even, hmm, I guess I can see why you want Dark Ardor, I'm the wrong one. Uh, special cards, okay. Uh, yeah, they're gonna have two new bosses coming out. You got Jury, which is the upcoming boss. She's Thunder, she's a defender. All of her skills pretty much pertain to uh, getting hit. 
like uh, increase attack power when attacked, inflict damage to the enemy's HP within the position when attacked, and increase reflex so she, if they attack her, she'll steal the ball. Or um, if she has the ball, it makes it harder to steal from her. Uh, sh she's a decent card. Uh, she's the new. She's essentially the new butcher that people want if they run butcher in their lineup. If you have a, if you have a butcher, I pretty much just take him out now and use jury. And uh, she's all right. She's probably a little bit better for Coliseum than PVP. But make do with you can make do with her and uh, excuse me, wait one sec. <laughs> Sorry, I just ate a little full. Um, you can make do with her and get by. I don't think she will fit in my squad. I'm not sure yet, but you know we'll see. We'll see in the future. She's a definitely a card to hold on to for different tactics. She can be used in Coliseum as well. Uh, I think the next box after that is going to be Lurie. She is basically a photocopy of Yuri, but uh, Yuri will be getting a seven star. So she's basically, if you aren't able to find Yuri, you're gonna have Luri. Literally the exact same, except for Ernest Trouble is a different name, her active, but it's pretty much the exact same card. Uh, Pincer Tack got an increase. Friendship got an increase as well, I think. I think so, Pincer Tack and Friendship, but uh, Pincer Tack, Increase attack power within the position by 35%. And I want to say uh, friendship increases max HP and pass effect by 30%. It might be 20. I can't remember. Maybe 25. It's between 20 and 30%. Probably 25, 30%. But uh, they both got a boost. Pincer attack did. Because I think it was at 20% and now it goes to 35. So uh, they're boosting up some of these passes. Making these cards a little bit more applicable. Because I guess they noticed that no one wanted to use some of these, some of these uh, passive skills. And they're... Maybe they wanted people to make use of them. But uh, we come to the uh, Spirit Stone section of the book. And uh, it gives a listing of all the Spirit Stones in the game. And you can look at all the little dif different things they have. Uh, when you get a stone, it'll have whatever effects it shows right here in the beginning. And then it'll have a few extras below that are random. It's not always going to be the same. So you can have two plus 15 endlessly burning matter unique stones. And they will be completely different, which is kind of cool. But, uh, yeah, if you go to the Unique Stone, it tells you what you need to, what's needed to possibly turn into it. Unique Stones only are obtainable by beating Challenge Mode, reaching Rank 100, or turning a specific 6-star Rare Stone into Unique. It has to be a Rare Stone, it has to be a specific one, and every three levels, it's, uh, every three levels you have a chance to, uh, change the, the level of, you know, from 4-star to 5-star, blah, 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 to Unique. It'll say it on the stone, it'll say chance for power up, um, as well as increasing stats, but, uh, it's like 3, 6, 9, 12, and, uh, of course the 15th one is when you'll have your chance also to get unique, if you don't, that's unfortunate, I've seen some people get four unique stones so far, some have zero, millions have been spent, uh, you just gotta get lucky. But yeah, they have the different ones. If you click on the, the the rare stones, they'll tell you what they turn into as well. And they'll have the uh, whole system right here from one to two star to three star, blah, 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 blah. It's always going to be the same stone, no matter what, when you evolve now. It's not going to be some random one. It just gives an increase in the base stats of the physical stats that the stone comes with, not the other generic ones that may pop up with it. But that's spirit stones. Uh, a little bit for the evolution system. I actually will do some evolving real quick because I got my materials I needed and I saved them up for the video I got them today I well I six starred uh, Yuri yesterday right there but uh, I have some of the cards I'll start off with not Meg I don't even know why I just tapped that screen um I'll start off with Lukia you just go to evolve you go to the menu down below and they'll they'll tell you the prerequisites of what you need to evolve them at the bottom right here in them it'll say like for any five star going to six star it's six five star elementals four, six four star and three three star need 160,000 gold you can still hit evolve without uh having what you need and also it'll, it'll have cancel the cancels jotted out it looks like it doesn't work but it does but if you ever wanted to see what 
the skills were for the future card or what kind of percents are given with them, you can just go to your evolve screen of your card and tap them because they'll show them right there. It says next level uh, for uh, each passive or active, so, like it doesn't show in the menu screen when you look at them. So if you're just curious what kind of stat boost you'd be getting with certain skills, you can go to the evolve screen and see it from there. But uh, I'm going to evolve this person. Yeah, it takes more uh, gold as well. I think that's the main thing people are complaining about is the gold. Um, I get it. It's kind of, it is annoying. Um, but if you can, I know a lot of you here can't get to hell mode yet, but hell mode actually gives a decent amount. Like I, I got a, I don't even know, a couple hundred thousand yesterday just doing hell mode and whatnot during the times two gold. But, uh, if you can get to hell mode, good for you. Uh, the cool thing now is you keep all the skill stats that you had even though you evolved your person. So, they try to make it less of a factor when you evolve your, car your card that you can't really use them for PvP for the longest while until you level them up and get them strong enough. I mean, you still need to level your cards and get them strong enough, but at least they give you the skill stats to give them the little bonuses that they already come with. That you've already kind of pretty much the same you've already earned by your first 50 levels. So that was uh, a 5 star to a 6 star. Now we're going to do Hildgard. Um, for 6 star to 7 star, the difference is you need 2 of the Emperor Swirlies, 8 5 star elementals of the attribute, and depending on the type of it, yeah, th this last one just depends on the card. You either need 2 Black Hole Swirlies, or two rainbow elementals. Just to give a little info about this black hole swirlies, yeah, they're used for evolution, or you can get a plus four stat, 100% chance guaranteed on a card using it as well. That's the other thing. So if you don't want to stack, you know, you got your evolutions done and you don't want to stack it anymore, you can just power up your cards that way. It's easy to get it once a week. It's guaranteed 100% drop rate. I'm gonna evolve Hildgard. Finally. She's deadly. Mine's pretty deadly, five superb, so watch out. <laughs> I'll worry about the stats and all that later. Um actually I need to train. What am I doing? I need to train. I wanna get her to level 50, so I'm gonna use a five-star Kuma. What's that give? Plus 144, look at that, that's nice. I like that. That's a... Uh, that's a yay. Oh my gosh. I'll do the stats now, actually. Eventually I'll put it into Nova and 3 into Extreme, but I'm just going to do the passes for now. I don't care. Okay. Um... Okay, dismiss, and let's, I kind of want to level up Lukia too, truthfully, I want to hit V player, I don't know, I really want to level up Lukia, how much can I get, hey, 47, nice, I'll take it, I really don't care, I just want to level her up, right now, um, so, there's that, and now they have rainbow elementals as well. They're what are used for evolution from 6 star to 7 star too. Um, where they go? There they are. Um, they have a second e effect as well as the black hole swirlies. If, say, you want to special train a card and you want to use your 5 stars as fodder, or 4 stars, or whatever, but you want just to use, you know, you don't have enough cards, or that card is superbed up, you can use this card to de-superb your whatever card you have. Like, say you have a max superb Beatrice, but you don't want to use your Beatrice Striker anymore. You throw in the Rainbow Elemental, and it'll break it up into six Beatrices, 
the only one there will be one that's level 50 and the, re the other five are going to be level one so you have to get every every card level 50 again but you have six beatrices now instead and can use all those for special training but this card's also used for the evolution of six star to seven star cards so there's that um let's see what else special training we'll go into special training there's two things you can get out of special training you can now i'm not going to do it i didn't save up enough i just wanted to make the video but you can now turn your five star your four star cards let's go five star when you special train them they'll go to six star and have a little bit better stats that's the cool thing so you can now make use of any four star card you really like and turn it into a six star um which is great that's awesome um the other thing is that you for uh, for any five star base card and higher you'll get 10 extra levels and two more skill points because of that so they'll be stronger and you get more skill points but uh the cool thing or the the thing about special training for both of them is you need your maras for it five star mara will count for uh, special training material as you can see like they only need to be level 50 so throw one in there um also um any base five star can be used as well that's level 50 i think that's only two at level 50. okay that's only two at level 50 but they have to be five star base and they have to be max leveled. And same for the four star. I don't think. I'll check Eden. As an example. Yeah, you can use the five star mirror on him too. I wouldn't do it. But you need four star cards, level 50. I don't think. This is the one thing I'm unsure of right now. I think you can evolve. I'm pretty dead certain. I, th I think you can evolve your three star into four star and then give him the level 50 and use those as material i'm don't quote me on that on that but i think you can but if you can't yeah these base four star cards go to level 50 throw them in there i know i have one and yeah, like, there's one like right there an example we have valkia and min or something i don't know yeah min i haven't used him in months but yeah that's a cool thing so they get six star uh five star base cards you only need five once you get your five um, you get plus 10 levels. It says it says at the bottom. So you only need five. So it's not that bad. Um, I do I just, I don't think it needs any gold either, which is awesome. Um, one uncool thing about the uh, event though is do I have enough? Yeah, I'll just show it though. I think yeah. You need 120. They doubled all the gold needed to evolve gatekeepers. So yeah. I don't even know why they have these. I think they're just messing with us. Why they even have skills? Anyways, but um, yeah, they, they doubled the gold for that as well. I think that's the biggest thing people are mad about. I can handle having double gold for evolutions for my cards, but gatekeepers, I think it's a little bit much. Um, got anything in scout? Because I just feel like scouting. No, okay. Um, that's that. I will throw in a little bit of gameplay of hell mode. There's a. Um, I'll just do one chapter. Yeah, I'm on like 716 or something. Um, right now, I'll show my favorite farming spot, and that's right above chapter four if you get to hell mode four six. That's the last six ST spot, and you can get uh, some decent gold and experience. I want to use a specific person, to make it quick. Okay, there he is. I'll change up my team later. This is, this team right here is gonna be goodbye soon. I'm so happy. Oh, no wonder she's not doing as good. I forget when you, when you evolve your card, it takes out her stones. So I was like, why is she not doing that? Whatever. I'll fix that later. But yeah, when you evolve your cards, the stones come out. So you're going to put your stones back in. But hey, at least that's a free chance, you know, maybe you won't put in some other kind of stone into the card or something that you didn't feel like taking out and wasting gold. Because you can actually take out your stones now as well. And, uh... 
Put them somewhere else, they won't to get destroyed. That's the cool thing about the new system as well. I'll, give you, I'll, I'll go over the stones after this real quick. Maybe power up something. I don't know, I kind of need to save my gold for my striker. I'm only five star. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Save my gold. <laughs> But yeah, as you can see in Hell Mode, everyone has more HP. The higher you go, the more HP they have. I think the Keepers in Hell Mode, where I'm at right now, has about 4,600 HP or so. Uh, what I like to do, since my, my uh, striker sucks, but uh, my other my basis of my team, except for my defense, which is I'm fixing now, but the basis of my team is pretty strong, the framework of it all. So I can get through everything else. So uh, what I do is I'll ha I have friends that have other strikers, and I'll just throw them in. It doesn't matter if they buff my team or not. I I try to get a friend whose striker is a better element against the goalkeepers due to uh, the enemy doing 25% less damage to you now if your element's better than them, and you still do your 25% more to them. But the big thing is the 25% less at the enemy, because it just used to be, the element used to do 25% more damage to the enemy team. Uh, I don't know if I accidentally hit the button too fast on it, but I got like 2,300 experience and 2,100 gold, which is great. So it's not even double XP or double uh, gold right now. So you can get a, you, like I say, you can farm fairly well. Um, yeah, stones. Okay, there's two ways to get the stones. Good thing. Yeah, you got your spirit stone where you can just see all your spirit stones you have right here on the side. Organize them however you want, whatever, level them up. You can level them up without having them like, equipped now, which is cool. Or you can go into your player and uh, train or whatnot. That's kind of Veronica. You got your spirit stones and they have everything there. When you hit level 60, when you special train, it opens up the prism slot, which... You can use whatever stone you want in there, and the cool thing is, which we learned recently, someone discovered, um, that you can actually put two of the same stone, you can put the exact same stone in your, uh, prism slot as a different stone, it can be the exact same symbol, whatever, it doesn't matter. That's really cool about that prism slot. So, if you want to stack double healing or something, like seething anger, eh, you can throw two of those on, whatever you want, it's, it's awesome. But, like I was saying, as you can see here, well, I'll, you know what? I'll just power up this one. I really don't want to too much. Well, yeah, I'll just power up this one. It's, just, it's gonna be cheap. But as you can see, you have a chance to level up. It'll always stop right there at that little point and kind of pump fake you as if it's going to succeed or not. But, see, I got plus two, and now it says power up or get bonus property, stone evolution chance. So on the plus three, I have a chance for it to evolve. It would have, if you're curious, it would have shown the evolution right at the get-go. So you you know if it's evolved or not. You don't have to be like, oh, did it evolve or not? It, it'll show you before you even complete it. That's how you know. So yeah, you get bonus stats. Whenever you get plus three, it adds a little bit to something. Like my, I think it just gave me plus 17 dribble, but maybe it'll add like plus 12 more defense or something. And it'll stack. But uh, yeah, that's the evolution stone thing, pretty much. You can sell, yeah, you can sell, uh, I'll show that real quick. That's really cool. I think I need to sell some stones anyways. You can sell your spirit stones as well. And now you can do up to 12. I don't even keep one star, there's no point. So yeah. I was getting tired of having to do one at a time. So I needed stones. Sell them all at once now and don't spend as much time. I'm not really gonna go into Coliseum, I'll just show it real quick. I'll, I'll explain Coliseum a little bit, break down. Um, you have your floor numbers now and you have a champion level as, as well as also. Um, you go up each floor like prior and try to beat the floors and go higher. 
and the champion floors are completely separate. Like you have a chance to get champion every so uh, after every floor, and the chances of a champion appearing after not appearing after a while keep increasing until you find one. Then it'll reset your chances of finding a champion. But the champions have their own separate level. They've changed the champions. They're actually probably even harder now than the other champions were, and. Uh, they have their own separate level. Right now, my champion's level 30. If you beat it, it'll start off at level 1. It resets every week in Coliseum. Every week, not every day. Or every reset. But, uh... It starts off at 1. Mine's level 30 right now. Um, if you w beat the champion, it will go up 4 to 6 levels. The champion will the next time you see it. So, my next champion, if I win, can be level 34 or level 36. Or 35. Um... If you lose, it drops the champion level down 6 to 8 levels. So if I lose, it's going to be 22, 23, 24 for, level, for a champion level. Uh, like I said, it, it only resets once a week. And uh, you now have a chance of getting a 5-star card called Elizabeth. They took out Scarlet. I think you can just get her from draws now. Which kind of sucks because I like using her for uh, trading cards. But... Uh, you get Elizabeth, and the neat thing about her is she has she has okay passives. It's a uh, pretty kind of generic. It's a little bit better than the other some five stars, and better than the four stars. So it's, she's okay, not amazing. She's usable. She is usable. Um, unlike Scarlet, Scarlet was not usable. Uh, but you can use it for special training. You don't even have to use your other five stars. Uh, a few people have already gotten a few Elizabeths. I've gotten one so far, but. Uh, yeah, you can, uh, there's an alternate solution for special training. Now you can't really complain, say, oh, I gotta get mares all the time, or the blah, 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 because they give you a chance after playing for a while to freely special train your card to level 60, which, it's nice, it's, this is a very friendly game. Uh, they decreased, supposedly, I'll go back to it, they've decreased scouting. Scouting a five-star player or manager has become 30% less. Uh, scouting gatekeepers have also become 30% less chance. Um, I think one other they decreased as well. Maybe I just named them both and find them. I don't know. Uh, but so it's going to be harder to scout what you want. I really haven't that I've seen a few five stars already still also though so I really wouldn't fret other people have seen plenty of five stars it's it sucks but oh well I mean it gives you more time to save up GP anyways <laughs> I heck I'm still look I got all that GP I'm still waiting for a, a manager like I'm still wait, waiting for Lucy and Gerald like, this is what I got uh, I still haven't gotten them I'm waiting. It's, it's whatever. Uh, but yeah. So, I think that pretty much covers the update for the most part. I can't really think of anything else. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think that's... I think that covers pretty much everything. So uh, this is Galatea signing out, and I will see y'all next video.